recently, Melissa Mills was a primary school teacher, but she now juggles life as a mum with her psychic services. She's just done her 21st Whispers from Above live show in two years, and she's here to tell us all about them. Great to have you here, Melissa. Welcome. Oh, thank you for having me. What I want to know first of all is when did you first realise that you had psychic abilities? Oh, that's a very good question. Um, it came to my attention when I was at university studying to be a primary school teacher. A friend uh, first read for me, but I really do believe I've had it ever since I was a little girl. And because I predominantly hear voices, I just thought everyone heard voices. Um, <laughs> yeah. Being an only child, I had a great imagination. But yeah, technically, I found out about it when I was 17. And what did you think? I was freaked out, wouldn't you? Yes, yes. Right? absolutely. <laughs> I just thought I was normal and then it was like, oh, no, I'm not, I'm different. And uh, I've always had a good sense of um, being able to see someone's intentions and things like that, So, but actually giving it a label, yeah, what that was, was a scary part. Yeah, I can imagine. What was the catalyst for making you want to jump into it full time? <sighs> I don't feel I had a choice. I feel like the spirit world was like, yes! now she can go and do it. I actually um, was pregnant with my youngest and was on a fixed term contract with, with my teaching so I thought well I'll start this off as a hobby and uh, see what happens. I didn't realise it was going to turn into my full time job. And it certainly has. Your children are like three and eight now aren't they? That's right. What do they think about what mum does? Do they understand it? My three year old doesn't, my son. Um, but my daughter, she uh, loves it. She used to call it angel work uh, at first, and now she does tell everybody I'm a psychic medium, and she's come to my shows. Sometimes I get her to play with her unicorn cards and uh, and on Facebook and give my followers live readings as well. So, yeah, she thinks it's amazing. Does she have a, the gift as well, do you think? Does she hear the voices? Uh, I don't know if she hears voices. She's more a feeling, um, but she's got potential. She could have a good teacher, I think. <laughs> <laughs> now, I would suspect people react differently when you tell them, when you meet them for the first time, what you do. How does that reaction usually go? Uh, some people go, oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> what are the lotto numbers? I know, all right. <laughs> or, um, <laughs> what can you tell me? Um, and then some people are like, oh. And, and then kind of move away. Uh, I used to n sometimes not tell people what I do. I'd go and say, I'm just stay at home mum. Um, but now I feel really proud and I just tell them and it's up to them how they take it. Now a lot of people don't believe, I guess, mm -hmm. in this, this ability, but it is quite helpful in people's lives, isn't it? What do they come and see you about? The top three, I would definitely say, are uh, romance, uh, career and health. Yeah, that's what we all want to know about, isn't it? Okay, and yeah. speaking yeah. of which, do you think you could do a live reading for us? Of course. Okay, good. Well, we'll come back and we'll hear a live reading from Melissa in a couple of minutes. I can't wait. Psychic medium Melissa Mills is here with us and has kindly agreed to do a live reading. So how do we start this off? Uh, so Mike has yes. kindly volunteered. I'm going to do uh, this. So I'm just going to pick up who's around him and then we'll go from there and see what messages we can cram in really quickly. Let's do it. Um, so as I tune into uh, the spirit world, I have a presence of a gentleman stepping forward and I keep feeling like there's quite a brotherly connection so I feel like I want to go with a friend. Mm -hmm. And I actually feel that this connection goes... From way back, like I feel that we used to either play together or th there's just that fun brotherly banter. Would yeah. that make sense to you? Yeah, I definitely know who you're talking about. And uh, I do feel like he says to me that his passing was really tragic. So would that make sense to you? I'm not going to go too much into detail about it. But he keeps saying to me that he watches over you and he says... And uses, you know, cheeky words I'm not going to repeat. <laughs> but um, he keeps saying... I'm that voice that's pushing you because he says you've always talked and when you were younger you always talked about wanting to make something of yourself wanting to empower people and he's like you've done it and he's like you cheeky little <laughs> you know. and that would be him too exactly yeah, I'm yeah. not going to say it but you know <laughs> no, I can imagine yeah, the yeah. language he's using you, you've, you've done it and he's just says after today after opening this door you're going to start sensing him more. Right. And he says that you used to play tricks on each other. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I look, I'm, we're going to have to stop you there. Yeah. No problem. You, need, you two need to go off and have a little yeah, conversation. Yeah, can we? Can we do yeah, that? Of course yeah, we can. I'm excited, thank, thank you, Melissa. Oh, that so was welcome. Absolutely amazing. Um, Melissa's next Whispers from Above show is taking place in Auckland on Saturday, 12th of November. And she's also planning a big nationwide tour next year. So keep an eye on her website for all the details. Yeah, thank you so much for that. Welcome. We will carry on this conversation soon.